Okay, so now I'm going to get you started on assignment 5.3, the Black Goose Bistro News page. I say that I'm getting you started because uh, page 110 of the book, if you follow the link, is very descriptive as to what you're supposed to be doing here. Uh, one thing that I can show you really quick is that the finished page, I'm bringing this from another computer, is going to look like this and there is an illustration of that in your book as well. You're going to end up with a header one, you're going to have an order list, actually this is an unordered list. You have a header two, you have uh, some uh, some text that is going to be uh, bold and that is strong. Uh, you're going to have uh, some definitions along the way. Notice how these tabs appear. Uh, the uh, directions will tell you a lot more than just that. That it's just it takes a tag. It'll tell you which tag to use. There's small type. There's a whole lot of things that need to be done for this exercise. So please depend on the book to guide you along. I can uh, begin uh, along with you just at least to get the um, get the page started. So. Uh, Go into your GitHub account and uh, in week five, let's create a new file. We already have one that's Bistro N and this is Bistro News because it was going to be a small element, but we really do want to have now one called Bistro News. I'll uh, add the file and create a new file and start by giving it that name. It's going to be Bistro News.html. Here, the directions in the book will tell you that since you're starting a page from scratch, yes, you could go and find a template, but let's get used to actually typing in some of these things. I'm looking at page 110 that says that start by adding the doc type declaration at the top of the page. That way your browser knows that this is an HTML document. <clears throat> I will open up uh, an angle bracket and uh, type in an exclamation point and type doc type, the document type, and HTML means that this is an HTML5 page. Next, we're going to add all the document structure elements HTML, head, meta, title, and body. And this has been discussed in other assignments, but I'll type it up really quick. That's basically you tell it that HTML will follow and at some point HTML will finish so I just typed in a couple of uh, spaces or rather press enter a couple of times and then open up a bracket and say slash HTML because at some point the HTML will end. I can then go back in the uh, HTML and right after press enter a couple of times and that way I can think about the head of the document. I'll press enter twice because things will go in here I will open up a bracket and slash head to finish it and uh, close the angle bracket again. The uh, book discusses that there should be a title to this page so inside of the head element. I'm going to go back to my line 6 and one thing about about HTML is that spaces don't really count for anything. Uh, the uh, page will ignore spaces for the most part. So we can use that to our advantage. I could type in here that there will be a title right away with an angle bracket title and close it and then right after with a slash title and that there's going to be some meta information so that's meta and close it slash meta. Uh, but then as you get more and more code and then especially when the uh, specifications come in you're going to be running out of space or at least it'll seem like the text is too crowded so one thing that you can do is as you're typing your uh, your code make sure that you start to uh, think of how the hierarchical levels that is in what order these uh, elements are positioned in so I know the title is inside of head and meta is inside of head both of these are basically children of the head tag so why not, since I've already typed them, I can highlight them and press the tab key and then that way they'll move to the right. You can always begin by typing a couple of spaces or pressing a tab key whenever you're typing so that your hierarchy makes a little bit more sense. 
that these items, the ones that are tabbed in, are actually part of the other element. So I have got the HTML, the title, the meta. At some point after the head is finished there, we will have a body. So I'll start the body, press enter a couple of times, and close the body, slash B-O-D-Y. Um, by now, I'm still in uh, step number two of uh, page 110. It also tells me that I need to give the title the Black Goose Bistro News. So inside of title, I'm going to type that, the Black Goose Bistro News. I will we'll be adding meta later. Uh, that's going to be some simple text there just uh, to define the character set. Let me make sure that meta is correctly spelled. And since I'm already here, I know that this basically will say that the character set will be equal to uh, quote UTF hyphen eight. All that's saying is that whoever opens it up will get a Roman alphabet, the letters that we recognize from our everyday words. And uh, and that's uh, the basic things that I need. Something else that it tells me is that the first thing we need to do is to identify the top level heading and the uh, list of links as the header or for the document by wrapping them in a header element. So a header element, this is a semantic element and we'll be talking about that in greater detail later, but just know that in that page that I just showed you, there was a header one that also included the Black Goose uh, Bistro News uh, that had uh, a bullet list. All of that will belong inside of the uh, of the code, so that will come inside this header. Header is basically just that, the word header inside of brackets. I'll slash header to finish it. And at this point, since I'm already got a lot of code that I'm typed in, I want to make sure that I uh, start to think about what this page is going to be looking like. So in the assignment, I do have the Black Goose Bistro News text ready for you to copy. You can either copy everything off directly from the page, or you can click on the uh, View Raw link at the bottom right. I'll just copy this. Right-click Copy come back to my file in uh, GitHub and I'm inside of the header now so I will paste this using control V as in Victor and this is a good point for me to say let's save this file I'll scroll down in my editor and tell it to commit the new file and then go back into it because I'm gonna do a couple more things before I let you go read the rest of the directions on uh, page 110. I see that I misspelled news. I did not add the additional S. Make sure that yours is named Bistro New. If at any point you uh, need to change the name of a file and uh, make sure that it needs to be done because if you change a file and you have a link to it uh, already you're going to have to go and change the link as well. Uh, simply go into the file itself and at the top Let's click edit, actually edit this file with the pencil. At the top, it tells me the name of the file. At here, I can see that the S is missing, but I can type it in. That way, now that it has the correct name, I could scroll down and tell it to commit the file and it would be working okay. So I've got you started so far. I'm looking at the rest of the uh, uh, things that you got to do. It tells us that you need the header. We've already added the header. That it sh there should be an H1, and we know that H1 is what's going to uh, uh, be around the Black Goose Bistro News. So I just type in H1 here, and at the end, to close it, H1. Uh, here, um, GitHub actually tabbed it in for me, so that's that's good news. Uh, make sure that you. Uh, Keep on adding tabs as you go along so that it stays readable. There are some tools that we could use later 
to fix the tabbing in the code, but for now, I'll make sure that you're typing in tabs manually. It also tells me that the uh, uh, the unordered list will actually be part of the navigation. So this uh, all of this text it says home menu news and contact. These will be buttons in the future. So one thing that I can do is I know that this will be an unordered list. Uh, so I can type in a UL to get started. After contact, close it. We'll be adding the list items, uh, or you'll be adding the list items as you go along. Before UL, though, since this is going to be the navigation, just before UL starts, I'm going to open up a bracket and say NAV for navigation. And at the bottom, right after the UL closes, we can close the navigation. Notice how anything that opens, you have to close header and header open and close. There's nothing in between, but whenever there will be, uh, where actually this should already be inside of that, I'm just going to cut that, control X, and bring it into the header space. Delete some of that extra space that I don't need, just a little bit here. But now the navigation opens and it closes on line 23. So at no point in between should I have closed the navigation again or before. So make sure that as the navigation closes, that everything else inside that opens also closes as well. My UL opens before the list. It closes after the list. And it opens after navigation, and it closes before navigation so that it's cradled inside. The hierarchy remains. If and when, and it's going to be fairly soon, we start to add list items. They will open and close all within the same elements. So I need to close that one. So now the allies also belong around the rest of the words inside of the navigation unit, inside of the unordered list, uh, which is all inside of the body. And this is um, a concept that is a little bit maybe, well, it's different, it's new to understand, uh, but it's going to be very valuable once you get used to the fact that as you open up a new tag, it needs to close and it needs to make sense that uh, as you're traveling through your code, things open and close in order. I'm just making a real quick copy and paste of the list items. I'll uh, close, make sure that they close where they should be with the slash, slash, and slash. I'll highlight all of these, press tab so that they're at a different level and tab again so that they're all kind of straight. So with this, I'll leave you because I've covered uh, one, two, and three on page 110. There's 13 steps that you need to follow. Make sure that uh, as you are traveling through the code that you remember to occasionally go and commit the page and then go back and uh, continue editing it. I did the whole thing in GitHub. However, you can always go to CodePen, copy your code there and see how it's turning out as you're working with it. You can save it in CodePen, but make sure that you bring it all back to GitHub to publish your page so that in the end you will be turning in this link, the bistro news inside of your username.github.io in week five. I'll right click and tell it to go there. Uh, it still hasn't loaded, but it will load eventually. This link at the top is what you'll be turning in. I'll press Control C to copy, go into my assignment, and in the assignment 5.3, toward the bottom, you can find assignment submission, write the submission, control V as in Victor to paste, and this is the link that I'll need. Click uh, submit and uh, uh, make sure that all the work is done though. Everything on 110 has already been loaded and uh, has been uh, published inside your page. I'm uh, moving around looking at other things in the page. I see that I did not copy the beginning of my username, it's IMED, so the I is missing, 
And there's my page. I see I have an error character set UTF-8 should not be displaying. And shame on me, I depend too much on templates. So I usually don't type the head, title, and meta all of the time. So I'm thinking that, oh, well, you open meta and you close meta. The truth, though, is that this particular inline statement, if I go and edit it, uh, doesn't need to be open and close. It only opens once. It's bracket meta. The character set is equal to UTF-8. And then at the end, it simply closes with the bracket. So I will commit this file, commit the changes again. Uh, once you have little things like that fixed and uh, if you have all of the proper tags that are instructed to you on page 110, then uh, be, feel free then at that point to go and turn in the link to your assignment and hit submit and we'll get it graded. See you in the next lesson.